can it work and is it healthy so everybody gets to decide for themselves what their dynamic is uh, it works for some it's healthy for some so I have nothing to say about that Hello, good to see you too, my love. Hi from Texas. Hello, lovely. Do you recommend dating apps? I sure do. Uh, I feel like people my age are too awkward to approach people in person. That's happening too. Thank you, love. <clears throat> Last connection. It could be my internet. Oh, I know it's choppy this time of day. Ah, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have tried to do a live. Husband and I are separating, uh, but he's asking to have fun still. Yeah, no thank you. No thank you. How do you know if you if you truly love someone? Um, you think about how you can make their life better. Love is a verb. Hi, Mama Queen. Hello. Hi from Netherlands. Hello. Hello, hello. Always love it when people pop in from all over the world. Uh, that's the benefit of coming on this early. What time is it in Ireland and what time is it in Netherlands? What are your thoughts and suggestions on teens dating? Absolutely no problem. Uh, you know, people can start dating at any age, right? My first kiss was when I was 10. It was a, that was my first boyfriend. We held hands and we kissed like that. Um, then I had a, my first boyfriend again at 14. Um, that was my first like long kiss was at 14. I never went further than I wanted to go. So you can start having boyfriends, girlfriends at any age, but always go at your pace. If whoever you're with wants you to go at their pace, not your pace, X nay on that. Always your pace. It's always at the pace of the person who wants to go the slowest, always. So if you want to go slower than the person you're seeing and they're pressuring you, dump them, dump them. Like do not stay and let somebody pressure you into going faster than you want to go. Hello, Licky Dogs, love the necklace. I got, I got some new jewels to show off for you guys. Um, I just got it in today. I made, I placed a really big order for some new jewelry, uh, like what, 18 pieces or something. Uh, necklaces, earrings, so gorgeous. I can't wait to parade them all out for you. <laughs> Love that necklace. I know it's, it's like, uh. been reading No More Assholes and Custom Made. They have helped me heal after my breakup. My love, thank you for that. Um, please go leave a review on Amazon, by the way. If you don't want to write words, just leave stars. It really means everything to me. We're getting close to 600 reviews now for Fix That Shit. And <coughs> for, <coughs> <coughs> there we go. Ooh, and 400 for no more assholes. How do I tell a best friend I like them when they're seeing someone else? You don't, you do not. If you're, listen, as a friend, you want what's best for them. You want to support them in their choices. If they're seeing somebody else, that's because that's who they want to be with. Support them. Don't try and break up their relationship. That's you not being a friend. That's you being selfish. You wanting to cause chaos in your friend's life is you being selfish. You currently are being a periphery person. Um, and that's not fair. It's not fair to their relationship. Uh, do you have a necklace to match every outfit? <laughs> you are so iconic, pretty much. Uh, how do you know if you don't have intense feelings for someone is because you're traumatized because of an ex? Come, come do uh, coaching with me. I can't answer that question for you without unpacking your situation, your thoughts, and your history. My boyfriend ditched me hours away from home on a date yesterday and said it was okay. Uh, it's not, so dump him. 
and said it was okay. That's called gaslighting. He wants you to be okay with disrespect, right? He wants you to be okay with disrespect. It's not. My boyfriend is secretive with his phone. Is that a red flag? Yeah, it is. Uh, how can you tell the difference between fear of commitment versus intuition saying something is off? Um, get no more assholes. Get no more assholes. It, see if he's a generous long-term thinker or a selfish short-term thinker. Look at all the blessings. You're alive. Uh, X said he sees relationships differently. He wants to be friends. Um, up to you. Don't do it if it holds you back. Uh, my boyfriend's anxiety gets bad. Then he wants to break up every time. What do I do? You can get fix that shit. Get the conflict out of your relationship. Uh, if he's a selfish short term thinker, though, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to keep the relationship. I would let him go and then get into a relationship with a generous long term thinker. Thank you, my love. Guys, do repost your questions. I saw that there was a bunch of stuff that I I, I didn't get to because stuff is starting to fly up on here. Do repost your questions. Also, be sure to go follow me on Instagram. I'm doing a, a coaching giveaway again soon. Um, giving away an hour of coaching so go take advantage of that so I'm thinking about uh, doing like a monthly free course where uh, once a month every single month um, I'm gonna do a course where I talk about the no kissing for three months dating rule in depth uh, the science behind it the conversations you have about it with, with somebody that is like you know you're potentially going to start something with um, how to deal with people's response to it, how you navigate it over the course of three months, uh, what is in, like what you can do, what you shouldn't do during that time. Uh, so what do you guys think of that? Uh, also doing a monthly course on how to start meditating. What does one do? It would be like a beginner. So people who are like, you know, like, beginners in the concept of meditating because beginners in the concept of um i was tuning in to watch yay the uh sounds good beginners in the concept of dating using the no kissing for three months dating rules like an introduction that gets them into it i would do monthly course yeah and it would be free you could pop in you know as many times as you want that course sounds like a good idea make it mandatory for all men to attend <laughs> That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. How do I ask out my crush? Simple. Simple. You uh, you go to them and you say, hey, I've been having some thoughts lately about the two of us, you know, maybe being in a relationship. What do you think about that? Does that ever cross your mind? I would love both, although no kissing for three months feels so weird. Yeah, you know why? Because it's counterculture right so but like here's the thing um there have been times where you know the things that like here, here, we used to seriously we used like our grandparents would go to the doctor and the doctor would say smoke more cigarettes it's good for you so there's a lot of things that we've been taught throughout the times that it turns out wasn't actually good for us so yeah the concept feels weird because of the cultural brainwashing there was a time where the cultural brainwashing was smoking cigarettes is good for your health it's good for the baby that's that's something that's so wrong not doesn't work for you at all but the brainwashing is go and do it and even doctors are like smoke more cigarettes um so just because it feels weird doesn't mean it's wrong Hello, cat. I feel the need to resolve conflict immediately. I struggle to get on with life and let's just resolve. Get fixed that shit. Understand that there is a functional way to resolve conflict and a dysfunctional way to resolve conflict. What do you think is the most respectable way to approach a lady and ask them out? Make them laugh. If you make us laugh, if the first thing you say makes us laugh, you have our attention. Um, so that really is like, because like it's, it's disarming, you know what I mean? Like you, what you're asking for, when you say what is the most respectful way to approach women, 
what you're asking is what is a way that I can approach her where she doesn't feel defensive towards me, right? Innocence, disarm her, right? If you make her laugh, that is disarming. You disarm her. She's like, oh, it's something about this guy. And then you have a short conversation. And then you say, you know what? I'd love to stay and talk some more, but I can't. I got to get going. But I would really like to take you out for a coffee and, and continue this conversation. Can I get your contact info and, and we'll set something up? What are the signs that you and your partner are a good fit? Signs of a healthy relationship. So first of all, your fundamental values are aligned. Thank you so much. I love what you do. Thank you. Oh, by the way, single men. Ah, oh, okay, before I do that, where are my single men at? Single men say holla, here I am. Single men say holla, here I am. I have a book for you. It just came out yesterday. Uh, it's on Amazon. You can find the button to that in the link to my bio. Just click that button. It's going to take you straight to Amazon. Uh, so you can go get it. Um, but here, let me show you. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. Holla, here I am. That cover is actually blue, but it shows up green on the screen for some reason. Like, is that just... I don't know why it shows up green, but it's actually blue. Um, maybe if I do that... Does that make it more blue? Oh, look at that. There we go. Uh, but I like this filter. What filter do we want, guys? Um, okay, so my single men, go into my bio, click the link tree, click that button at the top, um, and go get your copy of this book. This is a book that's gonna teach you how to get a woman like me. Um, it looks green or blue, I know. Um, so it's going to teach you how to date it's going to teach you how to approach uh it's going to teach you how to you know date her spend time with her what to look for and what she's looking for oh look at you i love the little boys uh i hurt my boyfriend a lot and he loves me so much i'm afraid he's gonna change okay get fix that shit oh my god love Yeah, just get fixed that shit that's gonna help you. I felt annoyed by something, but you silenced my boyfriend said we can do a 20 second hug. He's listening. That's super sweet. That's awesome. After watching your TikTok today, I wanna make up to my boyfriend after platonically texting my neighbor. <laughs> that's too funny. Do you boo boo? Do, do, do. Is flirting with a male friend okay? My boyfriend says it's not normal to flirt with just a friend. So we don't want our partners to flirt with other people, right? Um, we don't want our partners to flirt with other people. So I don't want my man to flirt with other people. Your man apparently doesn't want his woman to flirt with other people. So now you have a choice. You can, um, you can say, okay, I didn't realize this before getting into the relationship because I didn't do my due diligence. I didn't ask enough questions. I didn't figure out who I was getting into a relationship with. But now I understand that the partner I'm with doesn't want to see me flirting with other people. Um, so I have a crossroads here. I can leave this relationship so I continue, can continue the behavior that I choose to do or I can choose to no longer do the behavior to stay in this relationship because this person doesn't like that behavior. That's not what they want in a partner. So that's the choice you get to make with this. Uh, my boyfriend used to want to see me every day, but since he started gaming, he only sees me two times a week. So uh, what do you want, my love? What do you want? Do you want to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't game so much and has more time to spend with you. Um, is it okay for your boyfriend to get mad if you don't send pics? No. And if he's getting mad at you because you're not doing that, that's called sexual coercion. So dump him because that's abusive. That's not okay. Not okay. Not okay. And here's the thing. 
here's the thing, don't send those pics, especially to someone like that, especially to someone who uses anger and coercion to get you to sexually perform because you don't know what he's going to do with them. He is already showing a lack of integrity. Do not send him pictures. He's already showing a lack of integrity. He says it's common courtesy. Oh, so, so guilt tactics now. So anger, bullying, and guilt tactics. So emotional manipulation. So sexual coercion and emotional manipulation. He has to go. He has to go. No means no. And he doesn't respect you. He doesn't care about you. He has, he, he, there's, there's so many red flags in this. So many red flags. He is showing an absolute lack of respect and integrity. He has to go. How do you get through a breakup? You got to get comeback queen, my love. This is a book that walks you through that. Walks you through the process of healing your heart. Like the softer curls. I loved Fix That Shit. Amazing book. Thank you. You're so welcome. You are so welcome. Uh, so signs of a healthy relationship. Your fundamental values are aligned. You resolve conflict uh, without uh, stooping to calling each other names, putting each other down, yelling at each other. Um, you have similar goals and timelines. You make each other laugh more than anybody else. Uh, so Livy, um, once I answer a question, I, I lose track of, of who people are. So if you have follow-ups to what I say, do get a coaching session because there's, there's more that you want to understand. And I can't do a coaching session on a live. Um, this is where like I, I answer as many general questions as, as I can. But anybody who wants to gain clarity on their particular situation, do come get a coaching session. There's a coaching button in the link tree in my bio. It takes you to a page, just follow the instructions and, and you can book yourself in for a session. Your fashion is so on point. I need to start shopping where you shop. Le Chateau, my love. The, this store has been liquidating for the past few months. I've been getting all these really cute outfits for next to nothing. Um, so go to Le Chateau, like, you know, check the sizing chart. They're, they're pretty on point with their sizes. They're very consistent. I get extra small. Everything fits me the way it fits on the person in the image. Um, and uh, just go crazy because they're like, they're really getting down to the last of the clothing now. <laughs> Girl, they're not red flags, they're sirens. My boyfriend didn't tell me he was going to a friend's house for school online, but put me on do not disturb. Uh, I don't know what exactly that means because I don't know enough about the situation. Love your necklace, thank you. Boyfriend owns a restaurant, so COVID is hard. Can I support him without being suffocate? How can I support him without being suffocating? Do you. Um, do you because that gives him the space to do him focus on yourself and your happiness that gives him something if he if he takes a dip an emotional dip because of this and you stay happy and he takes an emotional dip he has happiness to come back to that for him is comforting and it uplifts him so maintain your happiness get fix that shit so you don't fight get custom made if you don't have a purpose and you need to focus on something other than him give him space to focus on himself and go through his thought process um and be happy be his safe place to come to what are the characteristics of emotional cheating uh, they, you know, they care more about the other person's feelings than they do about yours. Did your hair get lighter? Yes. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. I asked my husband yesterday if he liked the lighter hair or the darker hair. And, uh, it's so cute because he doesn't like really think about that kind of stuff. And he, 
he looked over. Like, I mean, I've had this for weeks now. And he looked over and he goes, I think the lighter hair it softens you. I'm like, okay. Can you define emotional abuse a bit more? It's, it's if they try to tear you down, um, right? Like, uh, you're always crazy. Um, you're so stupid. I don't even know why I'm with you, right? I want to break up with my boyfriend of four years because we want different things. I don't know how to do it. So the breakup sandwich, uh, this is why you're great. This is why it's not working. This is why you'll be great for someone else. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. My girlfriend will get emotional and resort to threatening to break up. I recently made the decision to end it. Okay. Is it okay for a guy to be searching online for massage parlor as course to start on a long distance relationship? If it's okay with you, it's okay. If it's not okay with you, end the relationship. My boyfriend always seems to go quiet when having a disagreement. He says it's him thinking. It is him thinking. Uh, so get fixed that shit. Understand how to go through conflict, how to resolve conflict, how to understand his process when it comes to conflict and how to eliminate conflict. This is the book that's gonna really create a lot of peace and love in your relationship. A lot of peace and love. Do -do. Do -do -do. Would you always do this and you've changed the emotional abuse? No. Uh, all right. Okay, those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that, say I just did. So she's lacking drive and ambition. She doesn't want to get a job, says I make more than enough. Um, so if you want to be in a relationship with somebody who has drive and ambition and is hardworking, this is obviously not the right partner for you. We don't get into relationships to change people. We, we choose the people who fit us. Which man should I choose out of the group? I want a gentleman, but sometimes I go with the player. Oh my... <laughs> So, uh, so, you, so what you're saying, the player, so you want the person whose attention is fractured. Sometimes you want the person whose attention is fractured. So I, I would, you know, examine that. Why do I want somebody who doesn't want me? Uh, if you need some help with that, come get a coaching session. Uh, how does your session work? So coaching session is one hour. Uh, we do it over Zoom. So Zoom video calls. You're going to tell me what it is that you want to work on. I'm going to find out what's what's happening and then help you understand what's going on, give you some clarity, and then give you the tools to navigate out and through and into a better place. I can't help thinking him going quiet and being mad or annoyed. Get fixed that shit. Gain some understanding on all of it, right? All of it. Fix That Shit is an audiobook to you guys, uh, but the audiobook is only available through the link in my bio. My long distance boyfriend has periods of low communication via phone and text, says it's depression. Okay, I do have a long distance guide in the link in my bio. If you guys want to grab that, it's free. Um, who's going to go get the free long distance guide in, in my, uh, in my link tree? I'm going to therapy because I'm very emotional and reactive. Should I read Fix That Shit too? Yes, 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 absolutely. That used to be me, my love. Absolutely, 100%. My partner is perfect in every way, but he's not a fan of expressing emotions. We, here's the thing. Um, we tend to take how we are 
the familiarity that we have with ourselves and how we operate and go, how come you're not this way? And what I want you to do, first of all, I do want you to graphic such it because you need to understand men better and you will with this book. Second, I want you to look at how you look and I want you to think of a male that you know and picture the two of you side by side in your mind. Do you see the physical differences? We are not built the same way. Now think about our chemical makeup, testosterone, estrogen. We are not made the same way, but somehow you're thinking our brain structure is identical and there's something wrong if they're not behaving the same way you are. There are differences between men and women. Men don't express their emotions the way you and your girlfriends do. Men show their emotions. They don't speak their emotions. They show their emotions. It's in their behavior. So instead of looking to him to express it in words, look at how he expresses it in behaviors and translate those behaviors into the words your brain is seeking. Hello, love. I am having an awesome day. Yes, you guys gonna go get that long distance guide? Yes. Oh, it's awesome. I use the long distance guide. Super helpful. Good to know. Uh, did anybody else download the long distance guide and put any of it into effect? I love your hair. Your tips have really improved my relationship with my S. Oh, yay, my love. That makes me happy. Good, good, good. What if you're in a disagreement but feel like your point isn't getting across and getting nowhere? Get fixed that shit. Get fixed that shit. I love the color. Thank you. Or you can come, come get coaching, right? Like if you're having trouble navigating disagreements with your partner, you can come get coaching because in a coaching session, you can tell me what it is that you're disagreeing about and I can help you navigate the particular disagreement so that you come to a resolution and have a plan. Why can't I accept that my boyfriend is a narcissist? Because of the words you're telling yourself. That's why. Because you're telling yourself, I can't accept it. That's why you can't accept it. Because you're literally telling yourself, I can't accept it. And the words that you speak to yourself are always your reality. So you are creating a reality where you can't accept it by telling yourself you can't accept it. When you think of a girl with male friends, the same thing I think about a male with female friends, what is the behavior? We can be platonic with each other if we choose to be. What is the behavior? Because the behavior is the difference between platonic and non-platonic. I see you on from time to time. You have good content. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can we talk about a few things in a session? Yes, you have, you have a whole hour. We can cover anything you want in that hour. Constant fighting with fiance, reading fix that shit, but nothing is working. Uh, are you using it as manipulation? In other words, I'm doing this so I'm looking for your change. Or are you doing what's in fix that shit because it is what is healthy and the right thing to do and releasing the outcome? You cannot use what's in this book as a manipulation. You have to do it because it's the right thing to do and say to yourself, if they catch up with me, so be it. If not, I have leveled up. And if you outgrow your partner because they are not growing with you, then so be it, right? You, you picked a selfish short-term thinker and you outgrew your selfish short-term thinker by becoming a generous long-term thinker who took responsibility for their behaviors. So you are now a leveled up person, which means your next relationship will be a level up because like attracts like. But if you're using it as manipulation, people don't respond to manipulation. They, 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 
they understand it's a manipulation and they don't like being manipulated. So they don't follow suit because you're not releasing the outcome. You're not doing it because it's the right thing to do. You're doing it because you're trying to change their behavior. You're not changing your behavior to become a better person. You're changing your behavior to manipulate them into changing their behavior. So you have to approach this with the release of expectation. You're coming into this with expectations. I read the book. I, I, I meditated for two days. I expect you to start behaving differently already. Go be a mom, my love. I loved your TikTok. What was the reason uh, about men not paying for 90 days? Yes. I may do that soon. Definitely need some help advice. I'm here for you, love. Uh, you guys are so cute. Can I book a coaching session with you just to vent? 100% yes. Um, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click that coaching button, follow the three steps to book yourself in for a session. Do, do, do. Sorry, guys, just reading some comments. Just reading some comments. I'm changing my behavior so I can have a better communication and conversation. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. It's, I, listen, it took, it took like months for my husband to even realize that I was using different behaviors because his mind was still stuck in our old way of being. So you just need to be like on yourself, not on him, on yourself. And you need to follow the instructions and fix that shit to the T. If, if he says something that's hurtful, don't default to anger, stay in the hurt. Say that's not fair. Keep meditating, keep taking responsibility for your behaviors. Keep releasing the outcome, keep detaching your emotional roller coaster from his ride. Uh, fix that shit as a book. Do, do, do. I have to go back to work. Okay, Licky Dogs. Why do they always get angry when you don't agree? Uh, that's that's not what a man does. Why do I apologize first in a disagreement, even if I wasn't in the wrong? I always apologize first in a disagreement. I apologize for my behavior. I take responsibility for my behavior. What did I do? What could I have done better? I don't care if he comes to me first. I don't care if he apologizes at all. I know I did the right thing and I take comfort in that and I am released from a burden when I take responsibility for my behavior. I walk away with a clear conscience knowing I did the right thing for the right reason. If he apologizes for his behavior too, wow, I'm impressed. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but I'm not going to walk away upset because he didn't. You're the best. Is it too much to ask him to officially ask me to be his girlfriend or should we just go on? Um, have the conversation in your head, right? Uh, so I, I teach people how to date and get into a solid relationship and then I teach them how to resolve conflict in their relationship and make it more close, loving and intimate. Um, yes, I am a writer too. So uh, I wrote nine books. I got to get number nine in my stack here. I got to order it. My ninth book it was is a dating book for men. It was just released on Amazon yesterday. Um, so let me see. These are some of my books right here. You're an awesome woman. Thank you. Um, saw your flex video. Good story. <laughs> I'm not in love with him, but I love being his friend. Right, so about asking him to like officially ask you. 
you know him well enough to know how he's going to respond to certain things, right? Have the conversation in your head. Do the back and forth. I'll say this. He's going to say this. Be realistic about what he's going to say based on what you know about him, not this ideal of what he's going to say. You're creating a best case scenario. I want you to create a real case scenario. You're going to say this. He's going to say this. You're going to say that. He's going to say that. Have the conversation in your head before saying it out loud. Oh, I just bought Fix That Shit. I'm so excited to get it and work through it and build my relationship. Yes, you guys. This, if you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you, this is gold to your relationship. My husband and I haven't had a fight in five years. It's so awesome. Last time I made out with him was about an hour ago. <laughs> was about an hour ago. Those, those, that's, those sweet kisses you see on my TikTok, uh, that's daily. That is literally daily with him literally and not just once a day i mean like a few times a day i'm trying to look them all up congratulations on your ninth book what well, was released yesterday do you guys want to see the cover of my last book who wants to see the cover of my last book Ooh, accountability to ourselves and each other has been the glue in our relationship. You're so right. Thank you. Who wants to see the cover of my last book? Oh, we got a yes. 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 Sure. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Dun 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 dun. Any, so this is the dating book for men. This is the book that teaches men how to get in a relationship with a woman, not a girl. Just like No More Assholes teaches women how to get into a relationship with a man, not a guy. The Perfect Play teaches men how to get into a relationship with a woman, not a girl. So if there's any single man or any single men in your life, uh, the link to that is in the link to my bio. It's the first link is gonna take you straight to Amazon so you can go get your copies. Ooh, I saw that in some of your TikTok vids yesterday. Yes, earn, agreed, yes, yeah. I should send this to my ex, I dare you. <laughs> I double dog dare you. I dare you. I'm gonna change my question. Any advice on how to get back with him? So honestly, the like, like what makes you, attractive to somebody is you not chasing them is you being strong and confident and knowing what you want and standing for it so the way that i won my husband back was by literally getting over him and wanting nothing to do with him anymore um i i i told i i said to him you need to stop calling me you need to stop texting me because my phone goes off and i'm getting anxious thinking it might be you i cut him off um so and then he was like no um, put a royal flush on the table and I took a little bit more time and I said, you know what, he's where I, I wanted him to be for five and a half years. So I'm going to take a leap of faith. And I did. And we got married. And now here we are. I've heard people say fighting is good for your relationship. What is your take on that? They are wrong. Anybody, 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 anybody. I don't care if they have a doctorate. I don't care how many letters they ha have after their name. I don't care how long they've been in school for. Anybody who says fighting is better for a relationship has never experienced five years of not fighting with somebody who loves them. And I don't mean five years of not fighting and repressing. I mean five years of not fighting, feeling like everything is resolved. There's a difference between repression, not fighting and repressing, and not fighting and having resolution. My doorbell. Like literally my dogs are my doorbell. Like literally my doorbell does not work. The dogs are the doorbell. Um, so here's the thing. Having uh, been somebody who fought in all my relationships, including the first 10 years of this one, to having five years, not a single fight, I now understand the difference. People say fighting is good because it makes you feel alive. It makes you feel whew, towards each other, right? And then it makes you feel connected afterwards. The reason why you feel connected is because you disconnected. So disconnecting in your relationship is not healthy. 
Um, feeling alive because there's all this adrenaline going on is not healthy. There's better ways to feel alive with your partner. Um, when you have a fight, you retract your good feelings. Do you not? You get defensive, so you pull in your good feelings. Do you not? The opposite of retraction is growth. If all you do through the course of your relationship is, okay, I love you, oh, I retract because we're fighting, I'm defensive. Okay, now I feel safe with, with my emotions again, out they come, oh, here's the next fight. Okay, now I feel safe with my emotions again, out they come, oh, the next fight. If you stop fighting, okay, here come my emotions, oh, there's, oh, no, no fight? You know what, I feel safe with my emotions. No fight? Okay, my emotions feel safer. No fight? Okay, my emotions feel even safer. So the opposite of retraction is growth. If you stop fighting, your good feelings towards each other have an opportunity to grow because you stop retracting them. Can I be a little selfish short-term thinker and stay on your live and not work? I give you permission. Any advice for young couples? I would say grab fix that shit. Understand how to relationship. How do you know if they're going to come back or not? You don't. How do you know when you've met the one? I will book of yours. Would you recommend for a couple? Fix that shit. Absolutely. Um, so how do you know if you've met the one? They make you laugh more than anybody else. They are loyal and hardworking. They practice the three P's, which is protect, profess, provide. They pass... The 12 character traits in No More Assholes getting at least a 9 out of 12. Okay, I will. No more fighting, you guys. It's time to stop fighting. It's time to have peace and love and intimacy every single day with your partner. Oh, you guys are so cute. Uh... Anytime I have to turn the live down to answer a customer, I'm so bummed. I do replay my lives on YouTube. Who goes on my YouTube channel and watches my lives after? Need advice to help build courage of having a conversation with my husband. Oh, about divorce. I would say um, come get a coaching session, love, so I can give you your script for this. It's just I need to get into your situation, like how your husband is, who he is, how you are, who you are to help you create your script for approaching this and standing strong through it. I'll help you write a book for LGBTQ, yes. Where can I buy these books? You can get them on Amazon or anywhere you buy books online. Um, we might have to, we might have to write this book. We might have to write this book for my, my gay loves, my gay loves. Almost there. Guys, who wants a notification when uh, when I go live? You just feel it. it. There has to be more though. It has to be more than just a feeling. You've got to get logical with this stuff too. Um, right? Feelings are like chemical reactions in your biological body. We are three parts. Your biological body, your logical mind, your spiritual connections. Spiritual connections, by the way, when you think about a friend and a minute later you get a text message from them, that's your spiritual connection happening. You're, you're picking up on each other's frequency. People getting freebies. Uh, guys, if you go into the nature of my bio, you can get some freebies in there. Um, you can speak to LGBTQ community supporters as reference for a book. I could. Um, Okay, I gotta get fix that shit for men done first. Um, gotta get fix that shit for men done first. And uh, then the next one, I and I, I push this one aside, I was supposed to do this next, but um, I did the books for men first. But the next one I have to write is Mama, Why You Gotta Be So Prickly, which is about the mother-daughter bond and how it's affected by generational abuse. Your book helped me a lot. We argue way less and communicate better. Thank you, you're so welcome. I'm assuming you're talking about fix that shit. We argue way less and communicate better. Yes, that's the magic I talk about. Love your advice, thank you. I'll be a generous long-term thinker and go back to work. 
we do not have communication he doesn't respect me and white lies a lot also very bad tempered dump the motherfucker get no more assholes do better Thank you. How do I help him feel comfortable being emotional and comfortable to open up with me? It's all in fixed session. You create emotional security in your relationship. When you create emotional safety, men open up more. Uh, they show you more emotions. They speak more emotions. They're more affectionate. They want to spend more time with you. Um, they, they communicate more in general. Uh, me, I've been catching up on YouTube. Awesome. I sometimes watch your lives on YouTube to sleep. Oh, no, that's good. That's okay. I had I had a woman um, uh, a week or so ago. She said that uh, every night she nurses her baby while watching my lives and he falls asleep. And if she doesn't watch my lives when it's like when she's nursing him to sleep, he gets fussy. So I was like, Oh my god, I think I think that's that's the sweetest thing I've ever heard in my whole life. So yeah, no, it's fine. That's totally fine. I'll give you my gay insight, Mama Queen. I love it, I love it. When when I do write the um dating and or relationship book for LGBTQ, I'm definitely hitting you guys up. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely. Because obviously, I'm not qualified to write this without your input. Boyfriend mocks my religion all the time. When I tell him I don't like it, he just laughs. Any advice? Dump the motherfucker. Like, dump him. He obviously disrespects you. Do not stay with him. Uh, say, you know what? I care for you, but I need to be in a relationship with somebody who respects my religion. And uh, that's not you, so this is not the relationship for me. I just got ghosted. Um, I'm wondering if I'm getting ghosted by his male dating coach. Uh, man, I got a, I got a saga coming. I got a saga happening. We shall see how the story ends. We shall see how the story ends. But this story is definitely being uh, created by this particular male dating coach, who. Um, my boy, my partner and I have been together for two months and he wants to have a baby ASAP. Should I worry? Yes. Yes, 100%. Uh, this is insane. It is absolutely insane. You don't even know who this person is. Like, you literally don't know who this person is. You actually don't know who this person is. Um, right? As, like, how long have you known them for? Like, like, you say together for two months? Did you just meet them like two months and one week ago? Uh, thank you for the gifts, but that is literally insane. Do not do that. And in, and in fact, that's such a major red flag. I would suggest breaking up with them because that's literally crazy. It's because your voice is so comforting and soothing. Thank you. Redating people. I've done that. I've done that. Okay, I need to get that book on Amazon. How many good books behind you? I love it. Yes, I've written nine now. What is the drama with the male dating coach? I left you hanging, didn't I? So, um, so a few months ago, this publicist reached out to me, said, "Hey, um, you know, I'm representing this guy. He's a dating coach. He's launching a book, um, and uh, you know, we'd love to uh, do something on your respective platforms." Um, that you know so where he can talk about his book and i said i sent him four questions number one was are you sure literally i said are you sure if you're familiar with my platform you'll see that i don't subscribe to conventional thoughts so you know to that effect right but literally are you sure and then basically saying if you understand who i am you understand i'm not a standard dating coach um, no reply, 
on that for about a month or so and then he reached out again he said sorry you know we've been really busy with the book launch um yeah absolutely no problem uh so you know can can we get him on your instagram and and i said uh sure um what i want in exchange is like he can he can come on my instagram we'll do a live together and we'll go on his instagram and do a live together so we schedule mine on a thursday his on a Friday. He did mine on the Thursday, and then on Friday, he backed out of doing his and rescheduled for the Tuesday. No problem. I go, I'm on Instagram on Tuesday. I'm waiting for him to go live. He doesn't go live. I messaged him like a, a few hours before. I said, see you soon. I messaged his publicist uh, 10 minutes after I waited for him to go live, and he didn't. I said, what's going on? And then his publicist was like, oh, um, you know, sorry, something slipped up. Uh, so, you know, let's reschedule. What's your availability? Um, and then he said, okay, actually, he's going to reach out to you and schedule something. Um, and then he didn't. And I was like, what's going on? And then his publicist said, oh, he hasn't reached out yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to contact him right away, get him to reach out to you and schedule something. I said, I showed up to this in good faith. If timing is a problem for him, let me know and I will charge you what it costs to promote on my channel. But I need to know now when we're going to reschedule this, if we're actually going to reschedule it because I'm done playing. Um, so talk about being ghosted, um, you know, being ghosted by a male dating coach, somebody who supposedly is teaching men how to get in a relationship with women. So he's creating a story that is not a good look on him. I should have known he was a dodgy dating coach. He was single. Another single, another single male dating coach. So let's see how this story pans out. Because it's going to be one hell of a story if he doesn't show up and do his part. If he doesn't show up and that's that's just you know like like it's really starting to feel like the guy mentality i'm here to take i'm not here to be reciprocal i'm not here you know for us to be mutual with each other i'm here to take love your necklace uh, his name is connell we know who the better coach is connell Connell Barrett, Dating Transformation. Is it okay my boyfriend says he puts his work over me unless it's an emergency? Yep, yeah. you know why? We gotta pay bills, we gotta save money, we gotta create the retirement fund, we gotta buy the house, right? Everybody needs to put work above, above their relationship. As long as it's not Matthew Hussey, I'm glad. Uh, so, I yeah, as long as it's not Matthew Hussey. Uh, you know he's single, right? You know he's single. Me and our boyfriend are always fighting. How can we stop? Get fix that shit, my love. Start doing what's in that book. Gotta do what's in fix that shit. So with the boyfriend who says he puts work over relationship, which that does need to be done, work always comes first. Now I'm a coach. Uh, work always does need to come first. Um, so is he planning a life with you, right? Are you guys together planning a life? Are you planning on moving in together? Are you planning on getting married? Are you planning on buying a home? But work always comes before relationships. That's called responsibility. Relationships are the icing on your cake. What you do for your income to survive, to support yourself. We need money to eat. We need money for housing. We need money for transportation. Work always comes first. Uh, the book that helps you end the fighting in your relationship is Fix That Shit. Uh, how do you know if he's right for you? I found that one really helpful, but mm-hmm. Yeah. 
makes you laugh more than anybody else, practices the three Ps, passes the 12 character traits and no more assholes, getting at least a nine out of 12. He doesn't need to support her financially. Um, that's not a necessity. Supporting someone financially is not a necessity. Even if I'm paying 50-50 in my relationship, work comes first. Work comes first. And if you don't understand that, there is a lack of maturity, right? Like if you're working your job and you date somebody who says, no, you need to put me above work and you said that to me, I'd say dump the motherfucker because he doesn't respect you. He doesn't respect your need to live in this world. Thank you, my love. Uh, can I find your books on the book depository? I don't know. I don't know. That makes sense, yes. Work always comes first. Work has to come first. And the more ambitious someone is, which by the way, you want an ambitious person. You don't want a lazy person. You want somebody who's ambitious because ambitious is I work hard now so I can relax more later. Ambitious is I will be financially responsible and make my money work for me. Ambitious is we will always be okay because I will always have money in the bank. I am a generous long-term thinker. You want somebody who's ambitious and generous. Uh, thank you, my loves. Uh, knowledgeable on tarot, no, I'm not. Uh, so you want ambitious. Ambitious is good. You should be ambitious. You should know what your talent is, what your purpose is, what your passion is, and dive into that. And this is what makes up the bulk of your life. This is the cake of your life. Your partner is the icing on your cake. After a long day, I like to spend time with my partner. Like, and when I say spend time, like seriously, like my husband and I, we get like 40 minutes at the end of the day, 40 minutes together at the end of the day, because both of us work that hard. Both of us work that long, but those 40 minutes, we are each other's icing on the cake. We are each other's safe space. We are each other's source of comfort and love and affection and, and intimacy. Family work relationships, friends. I say work, work, relationship family, friends. What if he doesn't make any time aside from work for his wife and kids? Make any time aside from work. Uh, so all he does is work and he makes zero time for his kids? Like zero time, like never there, like absolutely never there. Doesn't attend a game, doesn't ever play with them, does never get in the car and go somewhere with them. Never. It's just always work, never at home. Is that what you're saying? Your work should come first too. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not even finished fix that shit and our relationship is already way healthier. So empowering. I love you. I love you, love, love. You're so wise. Thank you. I wish you were the voice in my head. And so who here hears my voice in their head when you're not watching me? <laughs> who here hears my voice in their head randomly or whenever something comes up? My man always tries going into work late to cuddle and I kick him out of bed so fast. That's so cute. That's so cute. I always, I always squeeze like an extra minute or two out of my husband in the morning. He'll be like, okay, time to get up. I'm like, no, baby, you got to be the little spoon. <laughs> I listen to Chantal so much. You are the voice in my head about relationships now. Yes, I do. And the reason why I ask is because I know, I know like some people will pop up and they'll say, I hear your voice in my head all the time. I do. Yes me sometimes but i wish you were there all the time ah oh this is so sweet i do actually say out loud what you would say you're so sweet i love your i do's i love your i do's 
You guys are amazing. Oh my god, I did an hour already. Oh la la. 388. Uh, I'm married. We argue a lot. I work two jobs. She spends a lot and holds back intimacy. Can't take it. You guys should come get uh, couples coaching sessions. The two of you should be coming for coaching sessions. Uh, I copy your link. Good. I do when I tell myself not to spin or I know what I need to know. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, so, Muddy, uh, I would really suggest you and your wife come in and get uh, couples coaching before your relationship absolutely disintegrates and falls apart. Thank you for your time. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Who wants a notification when I go live? Oh, I'm going to put some music back on. I'm going to put some music back on. What you know about on and down. I do. I always, I always have notifications on and love it. Uh, I'm pretty sure my relationship crashed and burned. Uh, did you look into your own dating app anymore? Um, I took a little bit of look on Fiverr to go see about somebody making an app for me. Um, I didn't pursue it too, too far though. My partner never opens up and is hardly affectionate with me. Should we have couples therapy? Yes. Uh, yeah, I do suggest it. Yes, lovely. Uh, it's always better to come before it's like, I, it's so sad, you guys, because sometimes I do get the people um, who's, oh, just turn them on, good, good, good. Um, I, I get the people who come and it's it's too late. It's too late. So don't don't come when it's too late. Um, because you know, then I'm helping you recover from the loss of relationship. I'd rather help you guys lean into each other. What should he do when a girl sends him a bikini pic and she says, oops, trying to single you up. What should he do? Uh, he should remove her from his life. Uh, we're getting married next year. It's cute. How to stop being scared that he's going to leave me for another woman. Come take my No More Insecurity program. I can't stay awake for your 4 a.m. sessions anymore. <laughs> Guys, if you want a notification when I go live, click on my picture here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. If you do that, see, I just did. UK, look at the honeys. Thank you, Land de Plumbing, followed the host, thank you. Daisy, followed the host, thank you. I'm Chantal's biggest UK fan, I love it. Love it. Mary, followed the host, thank you. Already doing so. Jackson. KFCs or McDonald's? Neither. Uh, a and W, the uh, Impossible Burger. A and W or uh, a pita? Love pitas. I get the rice bowls lately instead of the pitas. Oh, of course he says nothing to worry about. Of course he says nothing to worry about. I love the way I'm talking. No, I don't. Um, honestly, it takes it takes this much to make me want to block you. So just be careful. Oh, damn, somebody muted. All right, well, then might as well just finish the job. 
when you guys meet somebody, I just go ahead and block them. <laughs> I'm like, all right, you know what? They don't like that. Off you go. Aloha from Virginia. Just did. Love it. Love it. Just did. Clicked all the notifications a long time ago. Uh, super fan. Oh, I love my super fans. Hello. I'm scared you'll accidentally block me one day. Uh, well, just careful what you say. Um, Alex, thank you for following. Betty, I like Peta too. <laughs> um, the great thing about Peta is, is you can put so many vegetables on it. It's so so healthy, like so full of of healthy stuff. Like it's, it's like I love getting Peta stuff because all the variety. Like I put everything, everything except for pickles and hot peppers. How important is intimacy to a man? It is of the utmost importance cannot underestimate how important physical intimacy is to a man utmost importance i just found your page you were awesome keep doing what you're doing thank you how important is it to understand love languages utmost importance um it really helps you understand your partner so much better uh water break you guys i'm gonna get a glass of water hold on pita pita and hummus well with uh avocado um and uh like seriously like spinach romaine sprouts cucumbers green peppers red onions tomatoes um pineapple i put it all i put it all on all of it all of it mushrooms All of it. No pickles. No pickles. <laughs> oh, olives, black olives, green olives. <clears throat> If you're in a long distance relationship, I do have a free guide in the link to my bio on how to navigate your LDR. Um, thank you, Sean, for following. Can you talk about the importance of the three month no kissing rule? Utmost uh, importance. Um, here's the thing. If you just want to hook up, just go hook up. The only criteria is do I find you attractive and do I trust you? If you want a future husband, a future baby daddy, a future parent that you're going to or a future person that you're gonna make major purchasing decisions with, like buying a home together. Um, you know, maybe you don't wanna get married, but you want a long-term relationship, so future forever home. Maybe you don't want kids, so <laughs> whatever. Um, but you wanna buy a house, you wanna do lots of tra traveling, you want a long-term committed relationship. Is your criteria two items long? How many items do you have on your criteria? Hook up two items do i find them attractive do i trust them right how long is your list for that committed long-term relationship i'm worried about scaring someone off with the three month no kissing rule the only person you scare off is the person who's not serious about getting into a relationship and doesn't like you enough that's the person you scare off so how long is your list for that committed long-term relationship how many how many characteristics? How many things are you looking for? <gasps> 12, 12 ways to know the difference between a guy and a man. I found a unicorn. Love it. 
Roberto, thank you for following. John, thank you for following. Sean, thank you for following. So, yeah. So, if your list is longer than two items for a committed long-term relationship, basically, thank you for following. Josephine, thank you. Giuseppe, thank you for following. Uh, if your list is basically more than just two items, you need time to figure out if they are that person. Not just that they say that that person, because people can say anything. There's a difference between what people say and who they are. You need time to understand if what they say about themselves is true. That's why you want to use a no kissing for three months dating rule. No more getting into relationships with strangers and hoping they're who you want them to be, who you need them to be. Get to know somebody and, and listen, anybody who says, oh, getting to know you, uh, uh, uh I don't have time for that. <laughs> Okay, keep moving. Keep moving. I, I want the person, like, if I get sick and I'm in a hospital bed, they don't say, oh, three months is too long to stick around with her, right? I want somebody who has staying power. I won't know that somebody has staying power unless they show me they have staying power. If getting to know me is too much of an obstacle for you to overcome, I already understand you well enough to know I don't want a relationship with you. So I love the no kissing for three months dating rule because it weeds out the selfish short-term thinkers. Going back to this male dating coach I was talking about earlier, go on my Instagram page, you guys. Go into my IGTV. You're going to see that interview that I did with him. It's the last thing that I taped on IGTV. Go check that out. Pretty revealing what single men think about women. Uh... So I brought up the no kissing for three months dating rule. He said, oh, you're going to lose out on a lot of really good guys doing that. And I said, so am I going to lose out on the guy who thinks I'm a really good girl? And he goes, well, maybe not all of them, but some of them. And I said, well, the one who walks away because getting to know me is too much of an obstacle. Did he really think that highly of me to begin with? Alejandra, thank you for following. Adam, thank you for following. I'm outside tanning, just listening to your awesome advice. Thank you. What does it mean if your long-term boyfriend breaks up with you out of nowhere because he needs to work on him, but tells you he's in love with you, but just can't be with you? Say, okay, baby, I understand. I certainly don't want you to be unhappy. Just understand that us not being together means no kissing, no sex, no sleepovers. Have a great life. My guy friend of 11 years asked me on a date, will this work? Maybe. You know him well enough. Do you think he's, he's a good boyfriend? Feloria, thank you for following. We said we weren't seeing other people, but he messaged an ex while we were taking time apart. Right, you were not together. So uh, thank you for showing me that you hold yourself to a double standard. Thank you for showing me that you're just really not that interested in me. I shall now move on. Grab no more assholes, my love. Define your next relationship. Get into a relationship with a generous long-term thinker. Uh, so how much is the session with me? It depends on what you choose. Uh, I don't take uh, insurance like I would, but they just won't take me because typically through insurance, they want somebody who has a PhD because they want you to be diagnosed with a mental disorder in order for them to pay for your coverage. Um, you might want to double check with them, see if that's negotiable in any way, if you feel that I would be more helpful than any other professional. He told me he wanted me to be the mother of his children, but turns around and messages his ex. Yeah, so, like, I see you. Okay, good to know, but stop spinning on him, right? Like, stop spinning on him. 
irrelevant. You are irrelevant. The person who lies to me is irrelevant. I will not give you headspace. I will not spin on you. I will not waste my time thinking about you. I will not waste my time trying to dissect you. I will not waste my time being hurt about your behavior. I will focus on myself, on my evolution, on my growth, on my healing. Define my next relationship. Make it a level up from what I left behind with you and get into something better. Keep looking forward. Stop looking backward. Justina, thank you for following. Can you talk a little bit more about the term generous long-term thinker? So it's a mindset. Yes, it's a mindset, right? So selfish short-term thinkers are here today, gone tomorrow. I, like basically generous long-term thinker is I want to take care of somebody for a long time. Selfish short-term thinking is I just want to take care of myself. So generous long-term thinkers are relationship mindsets. This is women or men. If you are in a generous long-term thinking mode, looking for a relationship, in other words, you are in woman or man mode. If you're in selfish short-term thinking mode, I just want to look after myself. I just want to please myself. That is a guy or girl mode. If you want to know somebody who's a selfish short-term thinker or a generous long-term thinker, in No More Assholes, you're going to find 12 character traits that you can grade their paper on. Uh, they need to get at least a 9 out of 12. Should I take him back when he, wanted, when he broke up with me because he wanted to be single and focus on himself? Not without defining your next relationship and making a level up from what you left behind and saying, hey, just so you know, I've done some thinking and I've redefined what I want. Come get some a coaching session with me if you need help defining your next relationship or get no more assholes and define your next relationship, but don't take him back without leveling up because otherwise you're just going backwards to what didn't work. So you're going to repeat the pattern. It didn't work, so we're going to split up. No, no, no. Level up. And don't take him back unless he is the leveled up. Like, be objective when you define your next relationship. Don't wrap it around who he is and how he is. What do you want? This is exactly what I did. After my husband broke up with me for the last time, I said, you know what? Like, what do I want? I'm, I'm not gonna just going to fall into my next relationship. What do I want? Well, when we first got together, I didn't want to get married. But now I want to get married. You know what? That's on my list. I want to get married. I spent five and a half years being with somebody who has a baby mama and and I felt, you know, fourth. I came in fourth. Work, two kids, baby mama. Wait, work, two kids, baby mama. Oh, I came in fifth. I said, you know what? I don't want that in my next relationship. I don't want to be with a man who treats another woman better than me, which by all rights he should. He was raising a child with somebody, but I didn't want that in my next relationship. That's on my list. When he came back and he wanted to get back in relationship with me, I said, no, the man you are is no longer the man I want to be with. I've taken time to think about my next relationship. I've changed what I want going forward. <clears throat> that is not what I want anymore. This is what I want. If you want to be the man by my side, this is what I'm looking for. If this isn't your cup of tea, if this isn't who you want to be, how you want to operate with me, that's okay. I'm going to find this. But that, that's not for me anymore. <clears throat> Sylvia, thank you for following. My girlfriend wants to buy a house on her own. We have two kids. Uh, she sounds like a powerhouse. I love it. Good for her. Good for her. You know what you should say? I'm proud of you, baby. I'm proud of you. Uh, I completely understand that, raised by a single mom, but how do I help her with stress? Good for you. Good man. Good, good man. Um, so just be, uh, you know, there, right? If, if she asks you to do something, yes, baby. If she wants help with something, yes, baby. Um, know her love language, right? Be able to plug that in. If you guys haven't done a love language quiz yet, then do the love language quiz. 1257 there um and just even ask her like 
you know, is there anything I can do to help? Things to talk about before getting married to my unicorn to ensure that things stay just as good. I don't really think, like, I mean, like, you're engaged, so you know them well enough. They're a unicorn, so you love them and appreciate them well enough. You can get fix that shit. Just make sure you follow the stuff in that book to keep your relationship conflict-free. But uh, I don't think there's a big difference. Just make, get your two kisses in every day, right? Two kisses, minimum, minimum five seconds each every single day. I love this. Mark, good for you. Good mindset. Adult children controlling widow dad's future relationships and pocketbook. Um, so like what's his what's his reason, right? Like what is his reasoning? Um, I, my, the way this, like it's my husband gets to live his life the way he wants it. He gets to raise his kids the way he wants to. He gets to support them the way he wants to. He gets to give them what he wants, uh, because he's an individual. I'm not here to step in his life and make his choices for him. Um, so what he has is his, what I have is mine. What he wants to do with what's his is, is completely his choice. Uh, you know, come get a coaching session if you need more clarity than that, so I can dive into the situation and do some unpacking. Uh, Eclipse Man, follow the host, thank you. How can I let go of my toxic ex? I'm in this cycle where he comes back and he says he wants me. Stop letting him. Stop talking about your life as though you have no control. Please write this down. Anybody who needs to write this down right now, please write this down right now. Stop talking about your life as though you have no control. You have a block button on your phone. You have the ability to say, stop contacting me. Stop calling me. I don't want you in my life anymore. If you try to circumvent what I'm telling you right now, I will get a restraining order. Stop talking about your life as though you have no control. If you don't want this person to keep interrupting your days, to interrupt your evolution, to put you in a spin all day long because you got a message out of the blue. If you don't want them to keep interrupting your ability to get into a healthier relationship than the one you left behind, block the motherfucker. Tell them to stop contacting you. You can do this. Stop talking about your life as though you have no control. They control him. So if you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who lets their kids control him, this is not the right relationship for you. But if he's happy with his situation, then that's great. If he's not, say to him, I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who talks about their life as though they have no control. Would you say it's a good idea for a woman to date a man with kids? I did. Nothing wrong with that. He's such a good man. I love that he had kids because it gave me more insight into the depths of the goodness of his character. He has so much integrity. I have so much respect for him because watching him be a dad really elevated my impression of him, huge. He's such a man, capital M, man. My boyfriend's main love language is receiving gifts, but he doesn't like to give gifts. So that's not his love language. If he's not giving you gifts, if that's his love language and he's not giving you gifts, he doesn't love you. So I suggest you do that love language quiz again. Um, if I wonder if you've even done it, um, but do the love language quiz. And if he's not showing you his love language, if it's not displayed in his behaviors, he's not loving you. I love your videos and advice. Thank you. You're so welcome. Adam, thank you for following. 
No way. Yes. Uh -huh. Parents haven't seen him four years since the time I grad to look normal. How do I say no? Uh, how do I say no? Say, so parents, I haven't seen in four years. Uh, you know what? Here's what you're going to say. Uh, you're going to say, you know what? Uh, you can go if you like, but I just need you to understand. I'm not going to have any time to spend with you. Uh, Lulu, thank you for following. My ex broke up with me first, but I realized that he always looks okay. Would it be good to put that I'm looking for a generous long-term thinker on my dating profile? No, because it's like saying, um, like you must be, right? You don't wanna, there's no you must be on your dating profile. Your dating profile is this is who I am. You want You wanna be a this is who I am so that you know, it, it kind of uh, resonates with somebody who's like that because like attracts like. Uh, do come get help with your dating profile if you feel you need to spruce it up to be more selective about who it is that you're attracting. Evan, thank you for following. Guys, who's here because they saw a TikTok? Who's here because he saw a TikTok? Yes, my love. Uh, and what was your, who's who's seen more than one TikTok and what was your favorite TikTok? My, my TikToks. Me, me. My love language is acts of service, always doing things he thinks are important. Does that, that shows love, yeah. My husband's love language is acts of service. Me, I did. Hello on my knees, you guys are so cute. Ah, we have a baby three years yesterday. That's awesome. You guys are so awesome. Hello, welcome my loves. All of them, when you say dump the motherfucker. Um, I should make it a sound. Me, when you were talking about no more assholes. Nina, thank you for following. Why let them go if they will make the experience about them and our broken relationship? I don't know, love. All the means. Matthias, thank you for following. I saw the having a close relationship to a coworker TikTok. Welcome. Welcome, Lilu. Don't the motherfucker. That's right. We do not suffer fools, right? All my people repeat after me. We do not suffer fools. Make it a song. What's your favorite book you've written? Fix that shit. It's fix that shit. I was fixing the shit while I was writing Fix That Shit. It is so near and dear to my heart. Um, this book is how I absolutely saved our relationship from the brink of divorce. I am so happy with this man. I love him so much. He is so amazing. He's so beautiful. He's so hardworking. He's so kind. He's so sensitive. He's so generous. He's so good to me. He's so affectionate. He's so kissy. We do not suffer fools. Look at you. Why do you think so many women are now violent towards partners and ending up in prison? Uh, I think that's been going on for a long time. And I think it's it, that's been going on for a super long time, by the way. And not just women. Males are obviously violent towards women as well. So I, I, think, I think violence is a generational thing. You know, it happens because people are physically abused. Uh, it can be reactive violence. So... Why don't I have patience? Why don't I suffer fools? Because I don't need to. I literally don't need to suffer fools. 
It is not a requirement. I do not require it of myself. <clears throat> Women incarceration in Australia is in, is off the charts. Are they mostly indigenous? Are they mostly women of color? How do I recover from getting hurt from my boyfriend? He almost broke up because he was stressed from work. Get fix that shit. Understand how to be a calm, safe place for your partner. Create emotional security in your relationship and they will never want to leave your side. Oh, I did say that. What is a fool? Someone you don't align with? No, that's, that's someone I don't align with is somebody that we just don't have the same values. That's not a fool. Uh, people who come at me disrespectfully, I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to spar with that. I don't have to take it. I don't have to allow it. I don't have to be with it. I can simply eliminate it. Brutal murders, really? You know, a, f a fool, for instance, is somebody who goes on to lives and say Candace died, right? So so the people who, who come on just to be disruptive, those are fools. I don't suffer fools. I take them off immediately. And people who come on and say, what are your pronouns? That's a fool. I don't suffer fools. I take them off immediately. Cancel culture. Ooh, did I trigger you? It's not it's not cancel culture when you manage your environment, right? Husband threw a fit. I said that's not fair. He robbed me asleep, but not of my peace. <laughs> that's amazing. Do you offer dating coach sessions? Yes. Uh, I do one on one sessions for people who are single looking to get into a relationship people who are in a relationship looking to make it better. Um, I am a life coach, so sometimes people start with me in their dating or relationship life, but then also use me in family matters or career matters. Um, I coach coaches, I coach authors, but my niche is dating and relationships because it just, it, there's, there's so much opportunity to help people in that field because so much of our issues funnel into those two, two subjects. Uh, so anybody who wants to get a coaching session, go to my bio, click on the link tree. There's a coaching button there. Click on that. It takes you to a page. Follow the instructions on the page and you can book yourself in for a session. What is the best book for a bad relationship and insecurities? Fix that shit. Also for partners who ditch you because you're arguing, fix that shit. So uh, I don't do a person. All my coaching sessions are on video. So they're all on Zoom calls. Uh, what should we do or have ready before we go for a session? Have pen and paper because I will get you to write things. Um, you will want to take notes. Also, I do suggest you record our session. Find a way to record it, voice record it, video record it, whatever you want. Um, but I do highly suggest you record it because I drop a lot of information fast. You're welcome, love. My boyfriend and I have different love languages and sometimes I don't feel loved. I went through that because my husband is acts of service and I'm words of affirmation. And so I was feeling that way until we did the love language quiz and then I realized he was acts of service and I was words of affirmation. And so then afterwards, if I didn't feel loved, I go, oh, wait a second. What has he done for me lately? 
and I would go into his behaviors and I would see where he was showing me love and I go, oh, there's the love. And I would fill up my love bank. So in essence, I would translate. Um, so when you don't feel loved, ask yourself, okay, how has he shown me his love language lately? And go find that and, and fill yourself up with those behaviors. Next paycheck, my treat to myself, gonna be one of your books. Which do you recommend for newly single? No more assholes. No more assholes. Unless you're really heartbroken, with, then in that case, come back queen. But if you're not really heartbroken, dive into no more assholes. <clears throat> uh, so my loves, I'm gonna head out. Um, I'm going to give you guys a chance before I go to set yourself up to get a notification when I go live. So if you want a notification when I go live, click on my picture here once or twice, you're going to get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that, say I just did. Uh, so can a man read my books? I wrote you a book, my friend. Uh, it is called The Perfect Play. It's a dating book for men. If you go to my bio and click on the link tree, click that first button. It's going to take you to Amazon where you can purchase my book for you. I wrote you a book. I wrote you a book. Guys, before I go, I'm going to show you the cover. Check. Good stuff. Love it. So this. Why? Why, why, why? Uh, let me see. Here it is. Here it is, that's my dating book for men. So go check that out. The cover's actually blue, it's more blue like that. Uh, if you want if you want a dating book for men, go get that. It's like I said, in the link to my bio, you can go grab it off of Amazon. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. What book does Perfect Play parallel in the woman's book? The Perfect Play is the male version of No More Assholes. Can women read it too? Yeah, I think you're gonna like it. I, we, I honestly, like, I think women are gonna appreciate it. Um, and, and that's the whole point, right? Because I'm teaching men how to get into relationships with women, not girls. When should you mention that you want kids? Your first date, the very first date. Love it. I'm going to buy it for a gift too. Love it. Uh, did you divorce the same husband you heard you say this before? Divorce you're with? No. Um, I'm on my second marriage. So second person, second marriage. You want to tell them on the first date what your fundamental values are. I want to get married. I want to buy a house. I want to have a kid. I want to travel the world. What is it that you need to have aligned? State it on your first date. Don't get attached to somebody and then find out they don't want kids. <clears throat> I just did. Look at my just did. Thank you. What's the content of Comeback Queen? This is a book that helps you get over a uh, breakup. Helps you get over your last relationship. What if my boyfriend is a long-term thinker but not generous? You want a generous long-term thinker, not a scorekeeper, not a stingy person, somebody who who loves to be generous and inspires you to be generous. And so you're not keeping score. You're just loving to be generous with each other. I love your videos. Thank you. And that's what I said. And she said that she was sound crazy only to the person who doesn't want kids, right? Like how attached do you want to get to somebody who doesn't want kids and then find out they don't want kids? Ask her that. Ask her that. I was actually waiting for you to go live again. I was thinking about yesterday's live. Yay. I, I was about to head out though. <laughs> I was about to head out. What should I read to get over what I went through with my ex? So my boyfriend now stops telling me I'm unstable. Uh, fix that shit, my love. Fix that 
fix that shit. Okay, my loves. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'll be back soon. You know I will. I love you. I love you. I will see you soon. Mwah.